Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into one of the most pivotal moments in ancient Greek history, the Battle of Marathon. Picture a time of great empires, fierce warriors, and a clash of civilizations that would shape the course of Western civilization. The year is 490 BC. The air crackles with tension as the mighty Persian Empire and the Greek city-states prepare for a confrontation that will determine the fate of Greece. Before we get started, make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating historical content. The ancient Greek world, a tapestry of independent city-states, faced a formidable foe in the Persian Empire. Each city-state or polis had its own government, culture and way of life, making unity a challenging prospect. Ruled by Darius the the Persian Empire stretched from the Indus River to the Aegean Sea, encompassing a multitude of cultures. This vast empire was a melting pot of languages, religions and traditions, all under the rule of a single monarch. Darius, known for his ambition, aimed to expand his empire westward, incorporating the Greek city-states. His vision was to bring the entire known world under Persian control, creating an empire that would stand the test of time. The Persians, with their vast resources and military might, posed a significant threat to the fragmented Greek world. Their army was well-trained, well-equipped, and capable of mobilizing quickly across great distances. The Greeks cherished their freedom, democratic ideals, and unique way of life. They valued individualism and the right to self-governance, principles that were deeply ingrained in their society. Among these city-states, Athens stood out a beacon of democracy and cultural achievement. The city was a hub of intellectual activity, home to philosophers, artists and thinkers who would shape the future of Western thought. The Athenians, known for their naval prowess, had incurred Darius's wrath by supporting a revolt against Persian rule in Ionia. Their fleet of triremes was unmatched and their sailors were skilled and experienced. This act of defiance ignited Darius's fury, who vowed to punish the Athenians. He saw their support of the Ionian Revolt as a direct challenge to his authority and a threat to the stability of his empire. The Persian king assembled a formidable invasion force to crush any resistance. His army included soldiers from all corners of his empire, each bringing their own unique skills and fighting styles to the battlefield. The stage was set for a clash of civilizations, a battle for the very soul of Greece. This confrontation would not only determine the fate of the Greek city-states, but also influence the course of history for centuries to come. The outcome would have profound implications for the development of Western civilization. A Persian victory could have altered the trajectory of democracy, philosophy and culture in the Western world. The Greeks, though outnumbered, were determined to defend their homeland. They were driven by a fierce sense of patriotism and a belief in the righteousness of their cause. The clash, when it came, would be won for the ages. The Battle of Marathon would become a symbol of courage and resilience, a testament to the enduring spirit of the Greek people. On the Greek side stood heroes like Miltiades, the Athenian general, a seasoned veteran of war. Miltiades, a shrewd tactician, understood the gravity of the situation. He rallied his fellow Athenians, inspiring them to fight for their freedom. On the Persian side stood Darius I, the great king, a formidable adversary. Darius entrusted the command of his invasion force to Datis and Artaphernes. The Athenian army, though smaller, was composed of citizen soldiers, hoplites, heavily armed infantrymen. These were not professional soldiers, but farmers, artisans and merchants. The Persian army, a vast and diverse force, relied heavily on their cavalry and archers. The contrast between the two armies was stark reflecting their vastly different cultures. The Greeks faced a seemingly insurmountable task against the disciplined Persian war machine. The clash between these forces would be a battle for the ages. The world watched as these two titans prepared to collide on the plains of Marathon. The fate of Greece hung in the balance. The plains of Marathon on the eastern coast of Attica would become the stage for this epic clash. For the Persians, Marathon was a strategic landing point for their invasion of Greece. The wide, flat plains offered ideal terrain for their cavalry. Marathon's proximity to Athens made it an irresistible target for the Persians. The Greeks recognized the strategic importance of Marathon and marched to meet the invaders. Marathon also presented challenges for the Persians, vulnerable during the landing process. 
The Greeks, familiar with the terrain, held a distinct advantage. The Greek hoplites, heavily armed and armoured, were well suited for fighting on the flat terrain. Their phalanx formation was a formidable defensive and offensive formation. Both sides prepared for a battle that would determine the fate of Greece. The Persians were determined to crush Athenian resistance. The Greeks were prepared to defend their homeland to the death. The stage was set at Marathon, the fate of Greece hanging in the balance. The Persian invasion force, a formidable armada, sailed across the Aegean Sea, their ships cutting through the waves with an air of invincibility. Their arrival on the shores of Greece sent shockwaves through the Greek world, a harbinger of the conflict to come. The sight of the Persian fleet filled the Greeks with awe and trepidation, a stark reminder of the might they were up against. Darius sent heralds demanding earth and water from the Greek city-states, a gesture of submission that was met with mixed reactions. The Athenians, in defiance, threw the Persian envoys into a pit, a bold statement of their refusal to bow to Persian demands. The Spartans, delayed by religious rituals, left the Athenians to face the Persians alone, a daunting task for any city-state. The Athenians, under the command of Miltiades, marched to Marathon to confront the Persian army, their resolve unshaken. The Persian army established a fortified camp at Marathon, preparing for the inevitable clash. The Athenians, arriving on the heights overlooking the plains, watched the Persian army make camp, their minds racing with strategies. Days turned into nights as the two armies stood their ground, each waiting for the other to make the first move. The tension was palpable, the air thick with anticipation and the weight of history. The Athenian generals debated their next move, each option fraught with peril and possibility. Some argued for a defensive strategy, others for a surprise attack, each side presenting compelling arguments. The decision to attack was made, a bold and risky gamble that could change the course of history. As the sun began its descent, the Athenian army quietly moved into position, their hearts pounding with the gravity of the moment. They were ready to strike, their fate intertwined with the outcome of the impending battle. With the first light of dawn, the Persian army prepared for what they believed would be another swift victory. Their confidence was palpable, as they had conquered many lands before. The Athenian army, under the cover of darkness, had moved into position on the plains of Marathon. They knew the stakes were high and that their homeland depended on their bravery and strategy. The Persian generals, confident in their numerical superiority, ordered an advance. They believed their sheer numbers would overwhelm the Greeks. The Persian infantry surged forward, their shields held high, their spears pointed menacingly. The ground trembled under their march, a testament to their might. The sound of their advance echoed across the battlefield, a cacophony of war cries and the clanging of metal. The Athenian hoplites stood their ground, their discipline holding firm. They were well trained and ready to defend their land at any cost. When the Persians were within striking distance, Miltiades, the Athenian commander, gave the order to attack. His voice was steady, filled with resolve. The Athenian hoplites charged, their bronze shields clashing, their spears thrusting forward. Their battle cries filled the air, a roar of defiance and courage. The impact of the Athenian charge was like a thunderbolt, a sudden and powerful force that struck the Persian ranks. The Persians, taken by surprise, reeled backward, their ranks thrown into disarray. They had not anticipated such a fierce and coordinated assault. The fighting was fierce and bloody, a desperate struggle for survival. Both sides fought with everything they had, knowing that defeat was not an option. The Greek hoplites, their heavier armor and longer spears giving them an advantage, hacked and stabbed at the Persian infantry. Their training and equipment were proving to be crucial. The Persian archers found their aim hampered by the Athenian charge. Their arrows, once a deadly rain, now fell harmlessly as the Greeks closed the distance. The Persian cavalry struggled to break through the Athenian lines. Their horses, usually a symbol of their dominance, were met with steadfast resistance. Despite their initial setbacks, the Persians fought back with courage and determination. They regrouped and launched counterattacks, refusing to concede defeat. The battle raged for hours, the tide ebbing and flowing as each side sought a decisive advantage. It was a test of endurance, strategy and sheer willpower, with neither side willing to give an inch. 
The Athenian victory at Marathon was nothing short of miraculous. Against all odds, they had defeated a numerically superior foe, preserving their freedom. The Persians, their invasion thwarted, retreated in disarray. The sight of their once mighty army fleeing in terror must have been a sweet one for the victorious Athenians. The casualties told the story of the battle's ferocity. The Persians had suffered heavy losses, their army decimated. The Greeks, though victorious, had also paid a price for their freedom. The aftermath saw the Athenians pursue the fleeing remnants of the Persian army. Legend has it that a messenger, Pheidippides, was dispatched to Athens to deliver news of the victory. Upon reaching the city, he gasped out the words, Rejoice, we conquer! before collapsing from exhaustion. This legendary run would inspire the modern marathon. The Battle of Marathon sent shockwaves through the ancient world. It demonstrated that the Greeks were a force to be reckoned with. The victory boosted Athenian morale, shaping their destiny in the years to come. The Battle of Marathon stands as a testament to the courage and tenacity of the human spirit a shining example of what a determined people can achieve when fighting for their freedom. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more exciting historical adventures. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll explore another fascinating chapter of history.